I went from my very highly skeptical front row seat in the press briefing room at the State Department, took a walk of about a yard and a half, and stood behind the dais articulating U.S. foreign policy. I was uh, Assistant Secretary of State for Public Affairs and spokesman for the State Department. And the year? Uh, the year was the end of, uh, it was 1984, uh, the end of 84 until my uh, famous resignation in October, October of 86. Yeah. You're quite right, it is a, it's a different departure. Uh, I changed cultures. I went from a culture in which there was a period <coughs> that spokesmen like to put out. Spokesmen like to believe that whatever they say ends in an unchallenged period. Journalism lives with sentences that end with question marks. And you had this big collision between periods and question marks. And for me, it was a dramatic change. So the question is, why did you do it? Because in a way, uh, the job, like so many jobs, becomes repetitious. Uh, dealing uh, with foreign policy issues as a reporter, uh, <coughs> it was, there was a curiosity no, to know what went on the other side of the story. When I got there, I found out that the other side of the story is very well known to reporters. Reporters, uh, speaking of top secrets, reporters know 97% of them. They may not know the exact date of when something's happening or the time. But by and large, a good reporter has the melody of the story, and he knows where it's going and what's happening and whatnot. But it seemed to me to, to be an uh, opportunity that Secretary George Shultz invited me that I thought it was tough to resist. Like Marvin, you take a 90% pay cut to go from a television salary to working for the U.S. government. But uh, I, had a, I have an endless supply of daughters. They were essentially all out of college, and so uh, my financial burdens were much lighter at that time. And it was irresistible to give it a try. I suppose I didn't explore the outer limits of what the challenges and the frustrations would be, which indeed there were. <coughs> but it was an interesting exploratory journey. I'm glad I took it. And then it ended rather abruptly when I picked up a copy of the Washington Post uh, one day in October of 86. And I discovered that uh, the United States was involved in what Bob Woodward in his big eight column banner headline story called a disinformation campaign about my favorite dictator, Muammar Gaddafi. And uh, my world is not uh, disinformation. My world is precisely the opposite. And uh, it became an environment which uh, you could not be in. And I went to see the Secretary of State. I said, look, uh, this is not for me. I mean, my, my loyalties, uh, my professional loyalties, my whole upbringing is journalism. And not only that, not only from the point of view of my feelings about this, not having known about it, because I knew nothing about this disinformation campaign, I said, uh, you're staining the credibility of America. You're hurting America with deception and disinformation. And uh, grateful for the opportunity, but uh, not for me.